everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ray, and today we're going to be entertaining the ever popular question on my YouTube channel comment section, and that is, what about Dr. Harvey? So if that is something that you have been asking yourself, then stay tuned, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. All right, so everyone that is new here, welcome. Um, I hope you'll enjoy, I hope you'll like, subscribe, and um, join the family. Today we're gonna be jumping into Dr. Harvey's. You can head over to their website, drharvey's.com. Um, basically, the long and the short of it is, this is kind of a um, topper that you add to, like you pick your protein, you pick, you know, pick your adventure type situation, and then you add Dr. Harvey's on top of it, and it is supposed to bring, you know, your home cooked gamish, um, to life and bring it up to par. Now, I can see why that appeals to a lot of people. Um, everybody wants to get away from kibble, they wanna do fresh, that's fine, I don't care, you can do that if you want, as long as you're feeding a diet that is complete and balanced, that's what is most important to me. We're not gonna get into the debate about kibble and not kibble, extruded, not extruded, baked, oven cooked, all that stuff, it doesn't matter to me, at least on this channel, where we're just kinda evaluating the basics, I just want it to be balanced. And I think that's a fundamental problem when you do something like Dr. Harvey's. And so what this is basically, and I get asked to review this all the time and my answer has been over and over and that's why I'm doing a video on this. The answer is I can't review it because this is not a complete and balanced diet. This is a supplement that you add to a um, diet that is supposed to, in theory, balance it out um, and so basically what you do, and let's see if we can find, um, we can find the instructions here. So it's so easy to prepare. Step one is you add water to this pre-made packet, the canine health packet. Step two is you let it sit for eight minutes. And step three is you add your choice of raw or cooked protein. And then step four, you add your choice of oil. Um, and so basically it's up to you to pick what you want and then you add this on top and then it magically, um, it magically makes that, that balanced. The problem is um, they can't tell you what the base of your pet's diet that you've come up with, what the base of that is. And so they don't know how many grams of protein, calcium, phosphorus, fat, et cetera, are in that protein that you're choosing. Um, they don't know, um, well, they don't know what protein you're choosing at all. Um, and so they're saying, well, if you have, um, this is, you know, if this is your dog's weight, this is the ounces of protein that we suggest that you feed. But there's different qualities to different proteins. So how do you know, how do they know that the supplement that you're adding is going to be appropriate and is going to balance out an unknown starting quality? So think of it this way. Um, you have a pot of soup, a bowl of soup, a, a, a soup pot that you are making. And um, you haven't tasted it yet. It's just you threw a bunch of things in there and it's been stewing for a couple hours and it's getting time where you know, you're gonna feed it. Um, and you have to add the spices. You've gotta add the salt, you've gotta add the pepper. Um, maybe you like it spicy, you're gonna add some cayenne. Um, but you're not allowed to taste the base stock. You're not allowed to taste it. You just got to, by feeling, add that stuff in there. If you don't know what the base of that soup tastes like, um, if you don't know um, how salty it already is or how spicy it already is, and you're just blindly adding things to it, how do you know what the end product is gonna taste like? It could end up being that it was already spicy and you added a bunch of spice to it and now it's inedible because it's too spicy. It could be that you thought maybe it needed a teaspoon of salt, but the reality is it needed way more than that and it's so bland, nobody wants to eat it. And so that's kind of the concept here and why I don't really particularly like things like Dr. Harvey's um, because they've oversimplified and to be quite honest, I think they've oversimplified to cater to a market and they've completely bypassed actual nutrition um, because you know that that is the basis of nutrition. If you're a nutrition scholar, or you're big into nutrition, or you're a veterinarian, you're big into numbers. Um, you have to know where you're starting to know where you're ending, and so that's just not the case when you do these one size fit all toppers. Now, 
if you are interested in doing something like this, what I highly recommend is you check out my recipe of the week series that I just started where we use a program like balanceit.com um, to take a base, um, a base protein, a base recipe, and then we augment it because we know what those um, qualities are bringing to the table, the computer knows that, then we can formulate a supplement that will balance it out. And so that's my deal on Dr. Harvey's, why I do not like these toppers. No, you can't just randomly add these toppers to an already balanced diet, because if you add, um, add something to a balanced scale, what are you doing? You're unbalancing it. So it doesn't really work for that either. So that's my take on Dr. Harvey's. If you're already doing Dr. Harvey's, um, you know, maybe consider switching over to a program like balanceit.com to make a more um, balanced diet. I don't, I can't even evaluate it. It may very well be balanced, but there's just absolutely no way to know that. And unfortunately that unknown to me is not as safe as sticking to something that we are familiar with. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you will check out the rest of my videos. I hope you will go to my website and check out some of my free tools. I hope you will check out this book, The Reasons to Feed, which will help you work through that and understand some of these concepts. And I will hang out with you guys again real soon. So yeah, be sure to like and subscribe before you go. Bye.